So in this video, we are going to see about command arguments. So for example, if I am using echo command and after that, suppose I am writing some message. In this case, let's take an example, your name. So it's actually displaying me that message your name. So your name is nothing but an argument to this particular command. Okay. Let me take one more example. So right now I am in C batch script folder okay and i want to display all the uh, files and folder which is available in c windows i don't want uh, this particular don't want a list of files and folder in this particular directory i want a list of files and folder in c windows directory so in that case what i can do over here is i will write dir command and after that i will provide that particular folder path so I'm just using C slash and then windows and if I press enter then it's actually displaying me the directories folders and file which is which are available in this particular directory C windows. So in this case C windows is nothing but an argument to dir command. Let me take one more example. So if I use volume vol command so it's actually right now i am in c drive my current working directory is c so it's actually displaying me the volume drive letter c windows and then it's actually displaying me the serial number of that particular volume so right now i'm in c drive but i want to display the serial number of d drive volume so what i can do over here is i will use vol command and after that i will pass an argument so i'm just using d colon and if i press enter then it's actually displaying me the serial number of d drive so argument is nothing but a kind of input or data that you are passing after this particular command date okay so this is called an argument so in this case uh, d colon is argument and this is our command okay so argument is nothing but a particular input or a data that you are passing after a particular command and it that command will accept that argument and it will display some kind of info, information based on the argument okay so this is how you can use argument in bash scripting